This is our tough toe product for work boots. Everything included in the packaging, mixer tips, sandpaper, popsicle stick, instruction sheets, and the brown tough toe cartridge. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the perfect tough toe application on a pair of boots. Um, key steps are preparing the boot, preparing the cartridge, applying the uh, tough toe material, and then finishing off the boot. Uh, everything comes in this package for a successful application. You've got the cartridge, the wing and the plunger, sandpaper, mixer tips, and instructions. You guys are doing the best thing by watching this uh, application demo video before doing it. Also, if you haven't seen, this is our tough gun applicator. This makes life super easy. I'm not gonna use this gun because I'm gonna show you how to do it by uh, using the components that are come packaged with it. But if you ever think you're gonna do tough toe uh, applications in the future, I would seriously consider investing in this gun. That also allows you to buy in bulk, meaning you just buy the cartridge only because you won't need any of these other things. Um, so anyway, check out the gun. But let's go ahead and discuss applying a perfect tough toe for a boot. We want to tape off the area, mask it off um, where we want to apply it. We want to avoid um, flex areas and we don't want to come back too far. Most guys are kicking the leather off their toe right here. You want to make sure that you get a nice thick tough toe layer and that you have enough material in one cartridge to two, two boots. So I'm going to take painter's tape because it remote, comes off so nicely without any residue. And I'm going to go ahead and tape just that toe box area of the boot. So that's taped off. Now I'm going to sand the boot. We give you a 60 grit piece of sandpaper. So go ahead and be aggressive with that sanding. The nicer the leather, the easier it is going to be to sand. So in the interest of time, I have one that's already done, so we're gonna switch over to this one. So now the boot is prepped. I've got it taped off. I've got this, the area nice and sanded. Next, we prepare the cartridge. I'm gonna open this up. One, one thing I like to do is I like to mark the cartridge halfway down so that I know as I'm going along and depressing the plunger, um, that I better start finishing up as I get about halfway so I make sure that I have enough uh, material left over to do the left boot. This wing slides down over the cartridge. And the plunger goes in the back end. It's gonna be like a doctor's syringe once I apply the uh, mixer tips. First thing we do is remove the cap and we dispense material because we call this equalizing the cartridge. We wanna make sure that side A and B are coming out at the same time because one side might be more full than the other. All right, so the clear side and the brown side are coming out. Now I'm gonna attach the mixer tip and do the exact same thing. Squeeze the material out. You want to dispense about a one to two inch line of material. Again, making sure side A and B are reaching the tip at the same time. Now we're ready to go. I like to allow this to set up for about 10 or 15 seconds in the tip. That way, uh, when I do my application, the very first uh, squirt won't be very runny. It's already setting up. You want to hold your boot facing you this way, and you want to apply the material from tape edge to welt. And you want to start on the tape edge and just go nice and slow, back and forth. Even steady pressure, back and forth. And again, as I said, the uh, tough gun really makes this super easy. But as you can see, I'm controlling the flow by just being, going very slow with the material. I'm not squeezing it out way too fast. If it starts to run on you, just turn it over, let the material flow back into itself, and pick up where you left off. You also want to make sure you keep the tip wet. That just means that you're, you have the tip in the material as you dispense it. It's called keeping the tip wet. It avoids any cornrow effect. You'll get a nice, smooth, clean finish.
and I'm finishing it up here at the bottom. I've got it where I want it. I'm going to remove the tape immediately so it doesn't become a permanent part of the boot. And now I'm going to rotate the shoe. You have a popsicle stick here that if you need to clean up any edges, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can use a rag and use your finger and just uh, wipe it clean. I've done my share of tough toes, so I don't need to do that. But now we're just going to rotate the shoe for a minute or two. I like to hold it like this so that if it's going to move at all, it's going to get thick right here. The only other uh, tip I would say is that if you want a quicker cure, if you were to put this in a hot environment like a hot car in the sun all day, this will set up uh, much quicker. Otherwise, 18 to 24 hours just at room temperature. But if you apply heat, you can make the material cure much faster. Also, the material cures shiny, a gloss finish. But if you want a dull matte finish, you wait uh, 20 to 30 minutes and you simply just wipe it with your finger. If you touch it and it feels oily or a little tacky, just leave it alone for another 10 minutes. But at some point, you'll be able to just to wipe it and you'll see you'll wipe the shine right off. This is the dull finish and this is the gloss finish. So you can do that yourself, like I said, 20 to 30 minutes after application. Rotate the shoe for a minute or two, set it down, switch tips and do my other boot. That's how you get the perfect tough toe.